Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel, Ask Your Pharmacist. Today we will be reviewing a very common medicine, which is widely used to treat different types of pain. The medicine which we will discuss is Diclofenac, which comes with the brand name of Voltaren and Cataflam. We will discuss how Diclofenac works in the body, its uses, side effects, dose, and also we will explain difference between Diclofenac sodium, which is Voltaren, and Diclofenac potassium, which is Cataflam. So stick around, and do like and subscribe the channel. Diclofenac is one of a group of medicines called nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. NSAIDs reduce pain and inflammation. Now let's see, how Diclofenac reduces pain and inflammation in the body. In our body, there are enzymes, called cyclooxygenase 1, and cyclooxygenase 2, which are responsible for producing prostaglandins. These prostaglandins contribute to inflammation and pain signaling. Diclofenac, which belongs to NSAID group, inhibit these COX-1 and COX-2. So this reduces the production of prostaglandins. By this way, pain and inflammation will be inhibited. Diclofenac, like other NSAIDs, is often used as first-line therapy for acute and chronic pain and other inflammation. Diclofenac tablets relieve pain, reduce swelling, and ease inflammation in conditions affecting the joints, muscles and tendons including Rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, acute gout, which is painful inflammation of the joints especially in the feet and hands ankylosing spondylitis, backache, sprains and strains, soft tissue sports injuries, frozen shoulder, dislocations and fractures. They are also used to treat pain and inflammation associated with dental and minor surgery. There are some side effects, which may or may not happen to you, which include nausea, vomiting or diarrhea, feeling dizzy or vertigo, stomach ache, loss of appetite, mild rash. Do not take diclofenac tablet if you are allergic to diclofenac, aspirin, ibuprofen, or any other NSAID. You have peptic or gastric ulcer. You have heart, kidney or liver failure. Now let's see. Dose for Diclofenac tablet in adults. Adult dose is 75 to 150 mg daily in two or three divided doses. Which means if you are taking Diclofenac 50 mg of tablet, take one tablet two to three times daily. Now coming to the main question regarding difference between Diclofenac sodium and Diclofenac potassium. The main difference between the two is that, diclofenac potassium is absorbed into the body more quickly than diclofenac sodium. A quick action is useful, where immediate pain relief is required. And a prolonged action, which is case of diclofenac sodium is more useful in reducing inflammation. Also remember, diclofenac sodium can slightly increase blood pressure. So if you have blood pressure problem, then you can go for diclofenac potassium. Also note that, here we are talking about diclofenac tablets. Other dosage form also comes, which includes, creams, injection, suppository, and also patches form. The information provided here is by a pharmacist. We gather all the information from relevant sources and then present it in front of you. Hopefully these videos are helping you. Do like and subscribe the channel. And if you have any question, just drop below, we will answer that.